Welcome beautiful beings back to my channel. I wanted to show you the anchors that we're gonna decorate. Show you how to decorate. These are from Dollar Tree. They're part of the Shore Living. And I wanted to show you if you have an old chain that's big enough to loop in there, you can use that for a chain. We don't have any. Ice scripts. You don't know those pliers to pull them apart. Push one up and push one down. And try not to flip it. And do it. <laughs> Make sure you can do it. Like I said, one goes up, one goes down. There you go. And voila. I want to show you different ways because not everybody has chains, might not have chains. You can even use yarn, you can use twine, put the twine up there, whatever color twine you have, and wrap that around it. That would look really nice, especially if it matches something you're working on. don't have any twine or even yarn I want to show you you can take buttons these are buttons and if you want you can like put a you know this string that I use or yarn whatever you have put them together and then hang them just put them put the yarn through tie a knot go down to the next one tie a knot and have them dangle from here, tie them around there. But you can use whatever you have, or you can just put one on. Probably break that off if you really want it to. But yeah, use whatever you have. Whatever you want, just give me ideas. Maybe buttons. They aren't the best buttons, but you can put buttons on there like that. Stick them on there. And if you've made these, that one got the anchor. I don't want to use that one. These. The jump ring. And the idea is how to use these. can have absolutely nothing to do with shipping the ships ship and the animals in the sea or any of that and you can hang a different one from there from the jump ring or even one with a key I like this one the best I'm gonna think I might hang that on one then, these are little tags you can get from their keychain things. You can get them from Dollar Tree, and then you can paint them, and then add whatever you want, and put glue whatever you want in them. There's another one. I left my leftovers fabric, and then I put little mechanisms that would like be seen in the ship. This might be a pain in the butt, though. You might want to take that off and put a jump ring on, because I don't know if you'd chip the paint. I guess it depends on if you have it on the right side. <laughs> but it might chip the paint, but it might not. I don't know, let's see, let's see. Then I won't be able to get it off. I don't wanna show you other things, but all right. You can try that. I wanna, I have other things I wanna show you and I don't wanna not be able to get back on and waste your time. Okay, put flowers on them. Three might be a munch. Too much for you. Put two on them. There's one with 
to angle it this way, that way. Just put them on your, stick them on your fridge or in front of a journal. This one, that would look pretty on the front of a journal. You don't have to use everything that goes along with a ship. And then to get, if you don't have jump rings, you can use string. But I wanted to tell you, you can use chain too. Like if you have a chain that's big enough to fit in that loop, this one's easy to take apart. You just take it and stick it on there. But I already have one that's right here. I'll show you right there. Like that. And I thought this flower looked pretty there because it goes with a color paint, which is antique copper. And this one is royal gold. I think that, nope, not that one. This one's royal gold. And this one. I think it's Royal Gold and Inca Gold. I use both of them on this one. All right. And what I want to do here, show you, inside mechanic, mechanic mechanisms of clocks or the ship. You put these on there like that and have the chain hang down like that. one on top of that and then this one on top of that. Alright. And then this one is the twine I used last video. I told you you could stick it in a jar and then I did use this antique. Just put a little bit of tiny water. Just a little bit and then some of this. It depends on how many you got. If you just got one just put a tiny drop. If you got two, just keep, add more paint, but not that much. And then you, you shake it up. Put the water in and shake it up. Not much water, not much paint. And you can barely see it, but it stiffens it. Because this is so, and it, you know how this frays so much. It does stiffen it. You can see a little bit of the color in there. But that's how I colored them. That one goes with that one. See, and this one. This is the one I wanted to put this on, like that. I wanted to put it here like that, on that one, not the other one. Okay, and then we got this from this charm. I thought it'd go perfect with it. I think this came in a set of red and green. And I think I might have got these at Dollar Tree. Sorry, the stuff I have is like two to three years old, so I don't remember. This charm is broke. So I wanted to show you, you can just put it right there. Nobody will even know the difference. Just hide it like that one. Okay, and then even these, you just want to put something just plain like that. These are Tim Holtz. Stick it on like that. And that could be the number of the ship, 12, 212. And this one you can put in the middle, put a gem there, a gem there, or a pearl, a pearl, flat pearl. You can get a Dollar Tree there. Easy peasy, simple. If you're making it for a guy, it's not all glammed up. And then this one. This one's going to be clipped in a journal. That's why I got these. Remember, in the last video, I showed you these. Or you can put a magnet on, like Brian won't suggested and stick it on the fridge or not even put that on and put this on the front of the journal but if you want to clip it in a journal these yes these clothes pins but this one I thought these looked cute this one's hard to tip let me show you over here put these on the bottom of the chain I think they'd look really cute together and get them to go so that they don't look wonky. Glue them on the bottom. That would work. 
And I think I pretty much showed you everything. And if you're a gem kind of person, you can even take gems. Oh, it's not even opened. You can even take gems. Oh, you can take trinkets. A little. And you can, this, if you can find, like, this part of the necklace, get these apart. Use two tools, tools, whatever you have at home. And get that off of there. You can stick that through there. And then use a string if you don't have a jump jump ring, which you can't find. We'll just pretend like a jump ring. And then just hang it like that. Hang it from there. You can use anything you want. It does not have to be C related. Anything you want. Oh, and even if you have an old earring and you lost the other one, you can just take that apart right there and just put that on there wherever you want. Or just hang it with that, but I don't know if that claps will stay. But it might. Your imagination is all on you. Whatever you imagine, you can do. And it might come to you. But I can't even get these open. I don't want to waste your time. I didn't know they were. But these are like gems. You can even put them on there. I thought they were already open, but they're not. You can stick them on there. Okay. And this is part two from part one. And then the next time we're going to do ships and that'll be part three. Hope all is well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.